I'm DMG and we're going to be talking about how to create a basic stone pattern for modular dungeon tiles. Okay, so now we've got our tiles all undercoated and ready to go. We're going to now use our sponge and our black and white spape. Yeah. We're going to use our sponge and our black and white acrylic paint. I use a bit more white than I do black, so just a little blob of black with some white. And then you use the sponge to just mix it up a little bit. Now, don't mix it up totally. I like to have some black and some white and some gray in there. And then I dab on it just to mix it up a little bit and then you pull it ac across the tile and on the walls just dab and pull dab and pull and you continue that over the whole piece so don't have to be um, grabbing it right into the edges there don't have to put it right into the edges uh, that leaves a nice shadow effect so that's all you really need to do for the basic first coat is just get that sort of gray black white on there just a nice drag and a pull drag and pull on the walls it's a bit more difficult when there's a little bit limited space in these sort of corridors but that's okay you don't be afraid to just twist it around and not just always do straight uh, it just makes it even more interesting floor effect for when we perform the next part as you can see this is quite quick uh, it doesn't take very long to actually perform this action. Um, so I'm only doing four or five tiles here, but uh, generally I will do several tiles all at the same time. So in the region of, you know, 30 to 40 tiles of, of different um, sizes and shapes. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to grab a sponge and we're going to measure a two and a half by two and a half centimeter, which is one inch square on in the corner so two and a half by two and a half it's one inch it doesn't have to be super accurate so I'm not going to measure it to the middle point I'm just going to draw and down the side now this is going to be your cutting guide we're actually going to cut out that square out of the sponge so as you can see I'll just draw a line down the side just to guide where we're going then you grab your craft knife and be very careful here uh, always cut away from yourself I did stab myself once when I was a child with a sculpty type craft knife so I learned the hard way you learn the easy way by listening to what I say alright so you just need to cut it all the way down and through the, the uh, meshing at the bottom which is the difficult part Come on, G, put a bit of effort into it. All right, so now we have a small one inch square sponge. So a bit more paint, some white and some black. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our sponge and we're gonna start just dabbing the sponge on there and onto the palette or whatever you're using, just dab it around and then have a look in your sponge to make sure there's a mixture of black, white and gray and then we're just going to start stamping so you just stamp out now this is good for grid players if you want to make it more uniform you can draw your grids on first with a, with a sharpie or something and then just print inside the grids that will work um, but you know I'm just I'm just doing this for effect not for an actual grid also stamp along the walls as well just to get more of a stony type look to the walls and then re-go over the ones you've stamped already. So um, we want to have some sort of lineage there for when we do the advanced technique, but for the basic one, you can just dab it around and smush it a little bit. Don't be afraid to twist and drag the sponge a little bit here and there to create smooth looking areas. But um, it's, uh, it's good to just, you know, go along one to change it, turn it. As you can see with this one, we're just turning it, turning it, turning it, stamp, turn, stamp, turn, stamp, turn. Again, this is relatively quick. So you can do quite a lot of these very, very quickly. 
I'm only doing four or five, but you know, usually I will do significantly more than this. And this is how you can quickly create quite a large number of tiles for your dungeon. Again, go over it, keep dabbing at the paint, dabbing at the paint, just to um, spread it out a little bit. Now, if you do run a little bit low on, on the paint, dab it back in again. I like to every now and again mix it up and, and, and add a little bit more black or a little bit more white um, and then go over the tiles again a little bit. Um, but, you know, usually the first time and then just a couple of redabs just to, to keep, keep the effect going. Also remember to hit those walls. So keep turning, keep turning. The effect starts to look pretty good, especially you can see I do a bit of a smudge and um, you know a twist here and there. That's merely to to change it up a bit so that uh, when we do the more advanced technique the tiles look slightly different but as you can see it looks quite passable as it is now and you could easily play on the surface without going to the next level but in the next video we'll show you how to do that so again I just go over the tiles a couple of times just to uh, lessen the amount so that's how we create a basic stone look to your modular dungeon tiles in the next episode, we are going to talk about how to do, take this to the next level with a more advanced technique. If you like it, click it. If you want to see more videos, click subscribe. And if you want to read more about what we're up to, go to the dmg.info or visit us on our Facebook page where we post regular pictures about what we're up to. See you later.